بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم پیج نمبر 262 لانگ کوئسٹن اور سمریز آف در لیسن آف پروز بک سیکنڈ ایئر کمپلسری پیج نمبر 263 چپٹر نمبر 7 لانگ کوئسٹن اور سمریز آف در لیسن آف پروز نمبر 1 The Farewell Sermon The Farewell Sermon was delivered by the Holy Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم on the 9th day of the Lajah 10th A.H. 632 CE in the valley of Urana of Mount Arafat in Mecca at the, at the end of his first and last pilgrimage of, to Mecca. Main points of the sermon. After praising and thanking Allah, the Holy Prophet peace sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Number one, O people, lend me a attentive ear for I know not whether effect after his ear I shall ever be a amongst you again number two oh people just as you are regard his mouth this day the, this city as sacred as sacred to regard the life and property of the every muslim as sacred trust beware of satan of the safety of your religion number three oh people it is true that you have certain rights with regard to your women but they also have rights over you Do treat your women well and be kind to them. Number four, O oh people, listen to me in earnest worship Allah. Say your daily prayers first during the month of Ramadan. Give you your wealth, give your wealth in zakat, perform hajj, and you can afford it. All mankind is from Adam and Eve. Page number 264. An Arab has a superiority over a non-Arab. Nor a non-Arab has any superiority over an Arab. A white has no superiority over a black. Nor does a black have any superiority over a white except piety and good action. Number five. O people, no prophet or apostle shall come after me and no new faith shall be born. I have behind my two things. All the Quran and my example thus the Sunnah if you fa- if you follow these two you will never go astray in the whole end uh, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said be my witness O Allah that I have any word your message to your people number two chapter number two Jannah Vian of Pakistan Qajaz Muhammad Ali Jannah addressed the first constituted assembly of pakistan the august 11 1947 he spoke of an inclu- inclusive and impartial government religious freedom rule of law and equality for all he also seemed to uh, advocate the separation of the church and state main points are uh, as under number one functions of the constituent uh, constituent assembly The Constituent Assembly has got two main functions to perform. The first is the task of performing the future constitutions of Pakistan. The second of functioning as the federal legislature of Pakistan. Number two, duty of the government. The first duty of the government is to maintain law and order so that the life, property and religious belief of the subject are fully protected by the state. Number three, the biggest course. The biggest course from which India and suffering is bribery and corruption. Page number 265. That really in poison, we must put that down with an iron hand. Number four, the evil of nepotism and jabbery. There is a evil of nepotism, nepotism and jabbery along with other evils in India. I want to make it quite clear it. that I shall never tolerate any kind of nepotism and jabbery. Nepotism or any influence brought to bear upon me. Number five, to be loyal. I know that there are people who do not like the division of India and partitions of Punjab and Bengal, but now that has been accepted, it is the duty of, uh, duty of every one of us to loyally abide by it. Number six, great state of pakistan if we want to make is great state of pakistan happy and prosperous prosperous we should holy and 
we should held only and solely concentrate on the well hearing of the people number 7 equal rights no matter what community the belongs no matter what relation the head had with you in the past no matter what is his color caste or ca creed his first second and last a citizen of this state with equal rights number 8 freedom you are free you are free to your temples you are free to go to your mosque and to any place of worship in his state of pakistan you may belong to any religion or caste or creed that has nothing to do with the business of the state number nine no hindu no muslim in the course of time hindus would cease to be hindus and muslims would cease to be muslims not in the religious sense but in the political sense as citizen of the state page number 266 chapter number three i have a dream there are a few more well known or powerful space that are religions by civil rights leader dr king martin luther on this on the step as the in call memorial in the Washington, D.C. On August 28, 1963, the most famous paragraph embodied in the middle of the speech, I have a dream that one day the nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on his red hill of Gorgia, the sons of farmers slaves and the sons of farmers slaves honors will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood i have a dream that one day even the state of mississippi a desired state sweltering with the heat of injustice and the prison will be transferred transformed with the oasis of freedom and justice i have a dream that my fourth children will live in the nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their characters i have a dream today so let us analyze this for the logistic power rhetorical analysis of i have a dream i have a dream that one day every valley shall be made low that row places will be made straight and the glory of lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together this is our hope this is the faith with which i return to the south with this faith we will be able to view out of the mountains of despair a stone of hope with this faith we will ab we will be able to transform the jungling discourse of our nations page number 267 with the beautiful symphony of brotherhood this will be at the day when call god's children will be able to sing the new with new meanings from internet chapter number four glory and hope glory and hope was nelson mandela 1994 in a global speech as the first democratically elected president of south africa at the time south africa was in a raw transfection system of apparent with segregations of people based on race and class division to a system to renewed hope for equally to all of their citizen at the first dem democratically elected state president of south africa nelson mandela planned to is the transfect transactions giving the Afri africans a sense of pride and security this speech is the first example of his efforts nelson mandela is not ashamed of his land and believes that with hard work and patience from the citizens of south africa they can reinforce humanity belief in justice strengthen in confidence in the nobility of the human soul and and sustain all hope of the glorious for life for all. Nelson Mandela countries the line that tells of pride, patience and devotions. The realize that Nelson Mandela wrote the speech with his heart rather him 
what is mind taken from internet we understand it still that there is no easy road to freedom we know it well that none of us acting alone can achieve success we must therefore act together as a united people for nation reconciliations of nation building for for the birth of a new world page number 268 let there be justice for all let there be peace for all let there be work bread water and salt for all let each know of each the body the mind and the soul have been freed of fulfill themselves never 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 and never again shall it be that is beautiful land will again experience the operation of one by another and suffer and in dignity of being the shrank of the world let freedom ring god bless africa chapter 5 lesson from the battle of oath the bat- the battle of oath was a extension of the battle of badr the page number 268 the quraish collected the army of 3000 persons and marched to medina the force was led by abu sufyan number 1 council of war when the holy prophet peace be upon him came to know about the intention of the quraish he he held in council of was the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was a, was the opinion that the muslims should remain in medina and face the enemy the young muslims in, incited to fight in the open the holy prophet peace be upon him agreed to meet the enemy in the open outside medina number 2 the muslim army the muslim army consisted of 1000 persons only but when the holy prophet peace be upon him ordered to march 300 بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم پیج نمبر 268 جاری ہے پوزیشن ان دا بیٹل فیلڈ دی ہولی پرافٹ پیس بی اپان ہم کمانڈڈ دی مسلم ورجز ٹو ٹیک اپ دیئر پوزیشنز ایٹ اوہ دا رائزنگ گراؤنڈ پیج نمبر 269 اینڈ دی آرچر ٹوک اپ پوزیشنز آن اینڈ جائننگ ماؤنٹ دی آرچرز ور کمانڈڈ ناٹ ان لیو ناٹ ٹو لیو دیئر پوسٹ انڈر اینی سرکمسٹانسز ود اؤٹ دی آرڈر اف دی ہولی پرافٹ سا پیس بی اپان ہم دی بیٹل بیگن After the duel of the battle began, the Quraysh attacked with full force. In counter-attack, the Muslims broke the enemy lie and the Quraysh fell back. The archers left their positions and began to plunder the camps of Quraysh. Khalid bin Walid rushed and killed 10 Muslim archers. They changed the course of battle. They were now in winding position and the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, fell fighting. Shouting of Quraysh Masab bin Umar had some physical rem- rem- resemblance with the Holy Prophet peace be upon him. He died in fighting the Quraysh shouted that peace, Muhammad peace be upon him has been killed. Reaction of Muslim The Muslim fact that if the Holy Prophet wasalam, has been killed, there was no point on fighting the battle. Hazrat Umar wasalam, shouted back that the Holy Prophet wasalam, was alive. Number 7. Holy Prophet ﷺ charged Ali to attack. The Holy Prophet ﷺ charged Ali to attack the Quraysh and the fell upon of the enemy like a thunderbolt. Abu Sufyan ordered his force to return and declared that the Quraysh would soon have another confirmation. Number 8. Learned a lesson. The followers of Islam learned an invaluable lesson from the experience and they never despoiled the Holy Prophet in future. Page number 270 Chapter, Lesson number 6 Ling Kuen Gorgi the, the narrator was the engineer. I went to visit the railway stations which was under construction in the Gorgi. Number 1 Construction Construction in the Gorgi was very busy. Every pe- war people were at work. The machines shook the, shook the ground. There was electric wire also. The engineer was about to fall in the Gorgi. Number two, say a boy. Saw a boy. The engineer noticed a path leading to a cave in the cliff side. A certain was bang- banging in the entrance. He was a boy. seated in the stool in the doorway he was seven or eight year old their cave was large he was their walls were appeared when 
the engineer asked him is not anybody home the boy told him if he was not anybody pointing at the baby girl sleep on the bed he informed mate that her name was pao cheng and his name was cheng yu i sat by the stove smoking and rubbing the drying mud for my hand the boy came to me and sat in my lap he asked about the weather and snow number 3 occupation of his father and mother when i asked what did his father do he told me that he opens the mountains when i asked about his mother he told me that she directs the traffic number 4 advised to sleep the child has placed his hand in his sleeves and pulled his neck into his cooler he asked him that you might catch a chill better get into bed and sleep page number 271 reply of the boy the boy rubbed rubbed his eyes with with his fist and said papa and mama say a man should never leave his post number 6 impression of the engineer the engineer rose button his boat and walked down the path the word of the child was going in his head a man should never leave his post he wanted to reach his destinations without any further delay lesson number 7 determination m1883 an engineer named john robling thought to build built a bridge connecting new york with the long island number 1 opinion of building experts the bridge building engineer threw out the world throat thought it an impossible feat and asked robling to forget this idea number 2 convinced his son robling did not ignore his idea and convinced his son washington to work with him they have both started working together number 3 tragic accident when a project was un- underway the tragic accident took place robling died and washington was injured number 4 comment of his, the people everyone had a negative comments and killed it foolish to chase wild vision but washington was not discouraged he had a desire to complete the bridge number 5 movement of his finger all that he could wa- do was to move one finger he decided to make the best use of his finger by moving his finger page number 272 he slowly developed a code of communications with his wife he touched his wife arm with his finger indicating to her that he wanted her to call the engineer what to do it seemed foolish but the project was underway again number 6 tapping of instructions for 13 year washington tapped out the instructions with the finger on his wife armed until the bridge was finally completed today the broke the client bridge stand in all its glory as a tribute to the triumph of one man's determinations this is one of the best example of never say die attitude that overcomes a triple physical handicap and achieve an impossible goal lesson number 8 the man who planted trees the writer say that about 40 year ago he was taking a long trip on foot over mountain heights i walked through the deserted region it was barren and colorless land after 3 days walking i camped near a abandoned village he had run out of water and had to find it he walked for 5 hours but could not find water number 1 meet a uh, meet a shepherd at a distance he saw a small black finger and took it to be a tree he advanced toward it was it was a shepherd 30 sheep were lying about him he gave the writer water water to drink it was an excellent water drawn for a well the man spoke later number 2 condition of the place the place was in order to the dishes washed the floor swept his 
rifle oiled his soap was boiling his soup was boiling he was clearly shaved page number 273 his cloth had had been mended he, sh he shared the soap soup with the with me and when I offered him tobacco, he told me that we did not smoke. Number three, job of the shepherd. The shepherd went to fetch a small sack out of heap of a crown on the table. He inspected them one by one. After setting aside a large number of good acorns, he counted them when he had elected. 100 perfect acorns. We stopped and we went to bed. Number four, planted <coughs> egg trees. Next day, he led his flag of sleep to his pasture and left the dog in charge of the flock. The took an iron rod and made hole in the earth and planted an acorn. He planted his hundred acorns with care. Number 5. Age and Name The shepherd was over 50, 55. His name was Elzard Baufer. He had once a farm. He had lost his son and wife. Now he was living in solitude. He had planted thousand trees in 30 years. Number 6. War of 1914 The first war, war started in 1914. is involved in it when the war was over i took to i took to road to the barren land and met the shepherd number seven condition of trees the oak trees were now can, now 10 year old and taller than either of us this forest measured 11 kilometers in length and th three kilometers in width number eight garden flowers meadows when I went back toward the village, I saw water falling in brooks that appeared meadows, gardens, and flowers. Page number 274. 9. Conclusion. I came to the conclusion that if a man was able to cause and barren land into spring, the greenery, I am convinced that humanity is admirable. Lesson number 9. Technology and society in the, of the future. The 21st century is the is the century of technology and science. Technology and science began to progress in the 17th century. Number one, benefits of science. The benefits got from science are enormous. It is not possible to eliminate them. Science has helped a great deal in developing self-confidence, self-esteem, and courage in human beings. Number two, discovery of medicines. Thousands of people died in malaria, typhoid, and cholera before the discovery of modern medicine. Now these diseases are curable. Number three, engineering and me mechanical technologies. Engineering and mechanical technologies are playing an important role in the many fields. The invention of airplane, art, aeroplane, automobile, rockets, and steam engines have made the travel easy and fast. Number four, communication technology. Communication technology has brought a great revolution in the modern society. It has invented telegraph, telegraph, telephone, radio, television, print, media, communication, satellite, electric, electro, electronic mail, and internet. These have made the people and the nation close to one another. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, page number 275. Number 5. Agriculture. Modern technology is playing an important role in the field of agriculture. It has helped men to bring barren and lands under the plug. It has helped men to build them for irrigation and generations of electricity. It has helped to grow bumper crops by using chemicals. Number six, standard of living. Technology and science have changed the standard of living. He has enjoying the comforts and luxuries of life. Gas, electricity, cars, television, and regulators have made the life comfortable. Number seven, research. Scientists are busy in making research in the field of medicine, engineering, and space technology. They have trying and create any environment 
free of population these focus on solar energy number eight revolution a revolution revolution may take place in the field of transportation computers will become minerals will be unearthed the will be peace and good among the citizens of the society lesson number 10 gender inequality is determinant to society number one fragile human being world population comprises of more than 50 percent women yet they have not been given equal rights they have been deprived of enough education health facilities and administration administration they are considered as fragile human beings both physically and emotionally in our society page number 276 women in poor countries women in poor and underdeveloped countries lead a miserable life in pakistan about 70 percent of the population lives in rural areas there are hardly a primary school for girls in village village the women have not been given equal opportunities of getting education islam teaches us that seeking knowledge in the duty of every muslim number three health conditions in pakistan health conditions are not satisfactory women su suffer more in society their worst poor situation in is seen during maternity period maternity rate during child birth is more than 30 to 30 to 2000 in pakistan number four malnutrition malnutrition is another factor responsible for a poor female health in pakistan and in some developed countries more than 60 plus percent women in pakistan have deficiency of nutrition as a result women fall in victim to many diseases the poor health situation also hampers women participation in the economic growth growth of the country number five not not independent and self reliant pakistani women are not independent and self-relying of their financial needs they depend on male members of the family due to lack of education women are not able to get good jobs they are given less job opportunities they are given less wage more than 15 million female home based workers are working in pakistan they have to live from hand to mouth number six maltreatment in inheritance women are maltreated in eases of inheritance they are not given their proper share in the property left by their parents islam has fixed their due as shared in the inheritance pay number 277 gender inequality in any from the determination to society the wrong on field frustration they fall a victim in inferiority complex a nation cannot make progress in such condition lesson number 11 archaeological treasures of pakistan the archaeological treasures of pakistan are very rich they are very important to the history of world civilization the most important archaeological sites are texla manjadaro and bambor number one texla the best known of all pakistani archaeological treasures of that of texla it has about 30 miles northwest of rawalpindi it has associated with alexander and ashoka who were the greatest persons in the ancient history it was one of the greatest centuries of the buddhism and the seat of learning there are four sites at texla which became important centers of buddhism texla con contains some of the oldest relies of our civilizations it thrown light on the gandhara art number two manjadaro the second important agriculture archaeological site of pakistan in manjadaro is Manjodaro. It is about 60 miles from Sakhar in Sindh. Manjodaro forms from part of what is now what is now referred to as the Indus Valley civilizations. The carries us 5,000 years back in the history of the world. It it proved the extent of an established civilization before the arrival of Aryans. The skull dug out for 
Manjutaro show that four different types of people lived there. Page number 278 Bambor, the third important archaeological site of Pakistan in Bambor. It is 40 miles from Karachi. The particular interest of Bambor lies in the fact that it is rob Probab probably the place where Muhammad bin Qasim in landed it has perhaps double here is mask has been dug out which dates about the beginning of the Muslim period number four mountains of Mughal period the archaeological treasures of Mughal period are also important these sites are searched all over Pakistan the, mo the most important of them are the Lahore for Bachai mask and tomb of Anarkali, the designs of the mountains revel the scale of Hindu stone carvers and masons. Lesson number 12 The Renaissance. The Renaissance period was a rebirth of the human desire to explore and learn more about the world. Michelangelo, Shakespeare's Galileo, and Columbus represented the spirit of Russians. By the end of 13th century, 13th century, the last of the crusades in the Middle East was over. The Christ Christians had lost their struggle against the Arab Muslims, but they had brought back to Europe many now new ideas and luxury goods. People started questioning about every aspect of human life, such as politics, economics, religion and morality. Knights did not return to their lands. Peasants were given freedom by their lords. Knowledge and good traveled from Middle East to Italy and then they passed to over parts of Europe. Trade flourished slowly. Page number 279. The traders, bankers, shopkeepers and skilled labor increased. Florence. Florence is the 15th century was marvelous. It was a city which had everything banks, businessmen, wealthy citizens, craftspeople, artists, thinkers, and intellectuals. By the 15th century, Florence was wealthy as a republic. Its citizens were used to self government. The leading fam families were business people and bankers. never take any interest page number 280 Shylock did not like him there was a great enmity between the two number three Bassanio Bassanio was a friend and Antonio Antonio helped him now and then one day Bassanio came to him and told him that he wished to marry a wealthy lady wealthy lady whom he loved he requested Antonio to lend him their 3,000 ducats. Number 4. Antonio and Bassanio went to Shaila. Antonio and no money at the time. He, he and friend went and Shaila and asked him to lend 3,000 ducats. Shaila did not answer. After a great consideration, he agreed to lend the money without any interest. He put a condition that Antonio should go to, to the liar with him and signed a bond that if he did not pay the money by a certain date he would forfeit and pound of flesh from his body Antonio agreed to sign the bond number five reaction of Bassanio Bassanio asked Antonio not to sign my such a bond but Antonio incited to sign it he thought that his ships would return before the due date and he will repay the money and Antonio signed the bond and got the money. Number 6. Bassanio went to Parsia. Bassanio took the money and went to the lady named Parsia who lived at Belmont. She agreed to marry him. Number 7. The day of payment passed. The day of payment being passed, Shylock interested upon having a pound of flesh Day was appointed to try this cause before the Duke of Venus. Page number 281. 
role of Portia. Portia dressed herself in the robbers of the counselor and attend the court of Duke of Venus. She tried hard to convince Shylock to take the money back. When Shylock died, did not agree and insisted to take the flesh. He asked him to take the flesh, but no drop of blood should be shed. Blood is not given in the bond. If you shed a drop of blood in cutting of the flesh, your land and property will be confiscated to the state by law. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Page number 281. Jari. Position of Shailak. Shailak was defeated. He was disappointed and agreed to take the money back. Number 10. Antonio was saved. Parsia acted as a liar in the court of the Duke of Venus. Shylock took the money and Antonio life was saved. His ships had also arrived safely. Lesson number 14. King Lear. Lear was the king of Britain. He had three daughters named Gunaril, Regan and Cardelia. The king was old. He decided to leave the management to the younger citizen. The king called her daughter. The king called his three daughters to him to know which of them loved him best. Gunaril, the eldest, declared that she loved him more than words could give out. He was dear, who was then the light of her eyes. He was glad to hear it. He best stood on third of his kingdom to her. The second daughter, Regan, declared that. She found all other joys did in comparison with the pleasure which she took in the love of her father. She king was happy and bestowed one, one third to her. Then he called the youngest daughter Cardilla. Page number 282. She declared that she loved his majesty according to her duty. Neither more or less, the king was shocked and asked her to mend her speech. Cardella told him that he was his father. He obeys him, loves him and honors him. The king became angry and one third kingdom reserved for Cardelia. He divided it into Gunaril and Regan. Number two, marriage of Cardella. The king there was displeased. By Cardelia. He, he called the King of France and Duke of Burgundy to know who wants to marry her. The King of France agreed to marry her. She was married to him. She went with her husband. Number three, treatment of Gunaril. Gunaril began to treat for her father badly. She wanted to get rid of him. She told him that his stay in the Establishment of hundred knights was useless and expensive. Number four, treatment of Regans. The king decided to go to the court of Regans, but Gunaril had already told her beforehand and she did not receive the king. Regan advised her father to go with Gunaril. She also did not treat him well. Number five, treatment of Cordela. The king left the place, place of Regan and went to the forest. He had lost his sense. Cordelia came to know about him. She sent men to search of him. Cordelia kissed his father and knelt before him. She sent her army to fight with Gunaril and Regan but was defeated. She was arrested and died and Persian Evan took his innocent lady to itself. Page number 283, Important Characters. Page number 284, Chapter number 8, Important Characters. Shy, character of Shylock. Shylock was a Jew. He lived in Venus. He was a usurer. He lent money at great interest of Christian merchants. He was a hard-hearted man. He exalted the payment of money with great severity. People disliked him. There was in mighty between Shylock and Antonio, a generous merchant of Venus. Number one, coming of Antonio. 
वन डे एंथोनियो विद हिज फ्रेंड बिसनियो केम टू शाइलाक एंड रिक्वेस्टेड हिम टू लैंड थ्री थाउजेंड ड्यूकेट्स एट एनी इंटरेस्ट नंबर टू कंडीशन ऑफ शाइलाक शाइलाक एग्री टू लैंड थ्री थाउजेंड ड्यूकेट्स ऑलरेडी ही पोर्ट द कंडीशन दैट इफ एंथोनियो फील्ड टू रिपे द अमाउंट बाय सर्टन डेट The would take and pound of flesh from his body. Shylock took Antonio to the lawyer, and Antonio signed the bond. Number three, Shylock refused to take up the payment. The time began past. Shylock refused to take the payment. He insisted to take one pound flesh from the the body of Antonio. But when Parthia was who was pleading the case of antonio asked him that he can take the flesh but no drop of blood should come out he was compelled to take his money back page number 285 character of antonio antonio was a young merchant of venus he used to lend money to people in distress people liked him shylock did not like him he was his enemy bassanio bassanio was the best friend of antonio antonio helped him now and then one day bisanio came to him and asked him to lend 3000 ducats ducats as he wanted to marry a rich lady named parsia antonio had no money at that time number 2 antonio went to shylock antonio went to shylock and requested him to lend 3000 ducats at any interest shylock agreed heartily on the condition that if he failed to pay the amount by a certain date he will take 1 pound of flesh from his body antonio agreed and signed the bond number 3 date of payment passed when date of payment of money passed shylock asked for a pound of flesh antonio agreed the case went to the court of duke of venus parsia dressed herself as a counselor and asked shylock to take the flesh but no drop of blood should come out as it is not in bond shylock was compelled to take the money and the life of antonio was saved number 3 character of parsia Parsia was a rich lady he, his father was dead Bassanio loved her he wanted to marry her she had consented to marry Bassanio who Bassanio told Parsia that he had no fortune page number 286 he said that she loved him for his worthy qualities number 1 king envious Parsia was a kind of generous lady when she came to know the money of shylock and the death of antonio death was certain she asked bisanio to take money from her and make the payment number 2 shylock refused to take payment when bisanio offered to the money of to shylock he refused accept it he in, insisted upon having a pound of flesh and went to the court of the duke of venus number 3 parsia pleads the case parsia put on the clothes of the counselor and attends the court of the duke of venus she persuades shylock to accept the money when the refused to accept the money and insisted to take one pound of flesh from the body of antonio she asked him to take the flesh but no drop of blood should came out now shylock was puzzled and disappointed and accept the money in this way she saved the life of antonio friend of her husband number 4 character of gunaril gunaril was the eldest daughter of king lear she was married to her duke of albany number 1 decision of the king king lear was old and tired of government he decided to give the merchant management to younger citizens he called his three daughters to him to know for um their own lips which of them loved him, him most so that the he might part his kingdom among them page number 287 conaril conaril was the eldest daughter she declared that he loved her father more than words could give out he was dearer to her than the light of her own eyes dearer than life and library and liberty the king was delighted to her these words of 
bestowed upon her on third of the kingdom. Number three, treatment of father. Gunaril began to treat his father badly. She said to him that the establishment of 100 knights was useless and expensive. She asked her father to less the number of the king knights. The king called her daughter a distant kite. He decided to go to the other daughter. Number 4. Gunaril reached Regan. Gunaril sent letter to Regan and when the king reached there, she did not receive him. Gunaril advised Regan not to receive so great to retain. Regan advised him father to go home with Gunaril and ask her forgiveness. Number 5. Character of Regan. Regan was the second daughter of King Lear. She was married to the Duke of the Cornwall. Number one, the king called her daughter Regan. The king called Regan to know from her own lips how my did she love the king. She was made of the same metal as their sister. She was not a wit behind in her profession. Number two, declarations of Regan. Regan declared that what her sister had spoken come short of no tone which she professed to bear for his highness page number 288 in, in so much that they found all other joys and that the comparison with the pleasure which she took in the love of dear king and father Number three, delight of the father. The king was delighted to her the words of her daughter and bestowed by her one third of the kingdom. Number four, treatment of Regan. Regard did not treat was father warmly in the good manner. We the when the king decided to go her and send her messenger, caused the with letter of his daughter to receive him. Her daughter Regan paid no attention to the messenger and be arrived back. Moreover, she asked his father to go with Gunaril and beg forgiveness. The heart of king was broken and he left the place. Number 6. Character of Cordelia Cordelia was the youngest daughter of the king Lear. She was staying with the king, the king of France and the duke of Burgundy d were the suitors number one the king called cardella the king lear called cardella and asked her how much did she love to his father the king called her joy and hope that she would glad her ears number two cardella speech cardella was disgusted with the flattery of her sister whose hearts she knew were far from their lips. She said that she loved her majesty according to her duty, neither more nor less. Number three, reaction of the king. The king was shocked and desired her to mend her speech. Page number 289, Cardella words. Cardella told her father that he was his father. He had given her be breeding and loved her she would return those duties back as was most fit and did obey him love and hand most honor him number five marriage of cordella the king was angry and cordella was married with the king of france and went to france number six treatment with the king when gunaril with and reagan treated the king badly she was distressed. She and her husband attacked the army of Gunaril and Regan but were defeated. She died in Persian. She kissed her father and began forgiveness. She was an innocent girl. Bismillah rahman rahim Page number 299 Jari. Number 7. Character of King Lear. Lear was the king of Britain. He was an old man. He decided to and over and management of the kingdom to young children. Number one, daughters. King Lear had three daughters, Gunaril, Regan, and Cardella. Gunaril and Regan were very clear. Gunaril was the eldest. Cardella was the youngest. The 
king called Cardella his joy. Number two, test of love. One day the king decided to test of the love of his daughter. First of all, the called Gunarello and asked her how much she loved him. She declared that she loved his father more than words could give out. She was dearest to her him the lights of her eyes. The king was very happy. Page number 290, she bestowed one third of his kingdom to her. Then he called Regan. She was as clever as Gunaril and declared that she found all other giant dead in comparison with the pleasure which he took in the love of love his dear father. The king was much pleased and bestowed her one third kingdom. Now the king called Cardella. She said that she loved her majesty according to her duty. Neither more nor less, the king was shocked and asked her to mend her speech. Cardella did not mend her speech. The king was energy and did not give her on one third of his kingdom. Number three, liked flattery. The king liked flattery. His eldest daughter Gunaril and second daughter Regan were very clever. The bath praised the king and won his favor. He was pleased with them and gave them two thirds of his kingdom. He did not give anything to Cardella. Number four, foolish man. King Lear was a foolish man. He failed to recognize his eldest and second daughter second daughter he was moved by their false word they treated him badly after getting the kingdom his youngest daughter was sincere in love but he failed to find it number five treatment of cordela it was cordela who treated his father ex excellently excellently she sent her men in his search she attacked gunaril and reagan for his father. She was very innocent and died in Persian. Aziz Talaba, ye audio recording aap ke liye Humanitarian Development Organization Abbottabad ke zirhe ehtamam ki gai. Humanitarian Development Organization Abbottabad 2011 se apni madad aap ke tahet sehat, talim aur muashi khud mukhtari ke shohbo mein behtari ke liye kosha hai. ادارہ نے نہ صرف خیبر پختون خوابل کے ملک بھر کے نابینا طلبہ کی تعلیمی مشکلات اور رکاوٹوں کو دور کرنے کے لیے ایف اے تا ماسٹرز لیول کی نصابی کتب اور کورسز جن میں علامہ اقبال اوپن یونیورسٹی کے کورسز بھی شامل ہیں کو آڈیو ریکارڈنگ میں منتقل کرنے کا اہتمام کیا ہے تاکہ نابینا طلبہ اعلیٰ تعلیم تک رسائی حاصل کر کے ملک و قوم کی ترقی اور خوشحالی میں اپنا بھرپور کردار ادا کر سکیں یہ تمام آڈیو ریکارڈنگس نابینا طلباء کو بالکل مفت فراہم کی جا رہی ہیں نابینا طلباء کے علاوہ دیگر طلباء بھی اس تعلیمی سہولت سے استفادہ کر سکتے ہیں ہیومینیٹیرین ڈیولپمنٹ آرگنائزیشن ایبٹ آباد ای میل ایچ ڈی او اے ٹی ڈی ایٹ جی میل ڈاٹ کام ویب سائٹ ایچ ڈی او آر جی ڈاٹ نیٹ رابطہ نمبر زیرو تھری فور فائیو نائن فائیو فور ون ایٹ تھری ایٹ یعنی صفر تین سو پینتالیس پچانوے اکتالیس آٹھ سو اڑتیس بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم پیج نمبر ٹو ہنڈریڈ نائنٹی ون چیپٹر نمبر نائن ٹرانسلیشن پریزنٹ انڈیفینٹ ٹینس فیل حال مطلق پہچان ایسے فکرے جن کے آخر میں تا ہے تی ہے تے ہیں وغیرہ آتا ہو جیسے وہ جاتا ہے وہ کھاتا ہے میں کھاتا ہوں امدادی فیل ڈو اور ڈاز جو منفی اور سوالیہ فکروں میں لگائے جاتے ہیں بنانے کا قائدہ سبجیکٹ پلس ورپ کی فرسٹ فارم پلس آبجیکٹ سالہ سوالیہ فکرہ بنانے کے لیے ڈو یا ڈاز کو فکرے کے شروع میں لگاتے ہیں فیل کی پہلی فارم اور آخر میں سوالیہ نشان بڑا سوالیہ بنانے کے لیے فکرہ کے شروع میں سوالیہ لفظ پھر امدادی فیل پھر فیل اور پھر اور مفعول آخر میں سوالیہ نشان نمبر ون ٹو اینڈ ٹو میک فور دو اور دو چار ہوتے ہیں نمبر ٹو ای رولز ان منی وہ دولت میں کھیلتا ہے نمبر تری دس شاپ 
keepers give short measures یہ دکندار کم تولتا ہے نمبر فور he lives from hand to mouth وہ مشکل گزارہ کرتا ہے نمبر فائیو احمد belongs to a respectable family احمد معزز خاندان سے تعلق رکھتا ہے نمبر سکس I swear my guard میں خدا کی قسم کھاتا ہوں نمبر سیون I do not feel home sick مجھے گھر کی یاد ستاتی ہے نمبر ایٹ he deals in cloth وہ کپڑے کا کاروبار کرتا ہے نمبر نائن does watch keep correct time میری گھڑی ٹھیک وقت دیتی ہے پہی نمبر 292 نمبر 10 what does this road lead to یہ سڑک کہاں جاتی ہے present continuous tense پہچان اس کی آخر میں رہا ہے رہی ہے رہا ہوں رہے ہیں آتا ہے امدادی فیل is mr بنانے کا قائدہ is mr لگا کر پہلی فارم میں ing لگاتے ہیں نمبر ون کالزیا is ragging in the city شہر میں ایزا پھیل رہا ہے نمبر ٹو the fountain in plain فوارا چل رہا ہے نمبر ٹری the cool breeze in blowing تھنڈی ہوا چل رہی ہے نمبر فور he is dozing in the class وہ جماعت میں اون رہا ہے نمبر فائف it is blowing the agail وہ بہت تیز ہوا چل رہی ہے نمبر سیکس he is shivering with cold وہ سردی سے کام رہا ہے نمبر سیون this book is selling like hot cakes یہ کتاب آتھوں آتھ بیک رہی ہے نمبر ایٹ the teacher is calling the role استاد آرزی لگا رہا ہے are you feeling appreciated کیا تم بھوک محسوس کر رہے ہو نمبر ٹین why are you losing temper آپ آپ ایسے باہر کیوں ہو رہے ہو پیج نمبر 293 present perfect tense پہچان فکرے کے آخر میں چکا ہے چکی ہے چکے ہیں یا ہے یا ہیں وغیرہ آتا ہے امدادی فیل have یا has why کے ساتھ as جمع کے ساتھ have بنانے کا قائدہ have as لگا کر فیل کی تیسری فارم لگاتے ہیں اس طرح دودھ پھٹ گیا ہے the milk has turned sour آواز تھم چکی ہے the wind has fallen تم نے کیا شوشہ کھڑا کر دیا ہے you have created a new issue موسم برسات شروع ہو چکا ہے the rainy season has set in انہوں نے جھوٹ بولا ہے they have told a lie مجھے زکام ہو گیا ہے I have caught cold میں نے اپنا وعدہ پورا کر دیا ہے I have fulfilled my promise ملزم نے اقبال جرم کر لیا ہے تو accused has confessed his guilt کیا تم نے اپنے دوست کو دھوکا دیا ہے یہ ہے if you deceived your friend ڈاکٹر نے اسے جواب کیوں دیا ہے why is the doctor declared in case present perfect continuous tense پہچان تے رہے ہیں تی رہی ہے تا رہا ہوں آخر میں آتا ہے وقت کا ذکر بھی ہوتا ہے امدادی فیل have been یا has been بنانے کا قائدہ have been یا has been لگا کر فیل کی پہلی فارم کے ساتھ آئی این جی لگاتے ہیں وقت کے لیے فار یا سنس استعمال کرتے ہیں فار یا پیریڈ آف ٹائم کے لیے استعمال ہوتا ہے مثلا فار ٹو ایئر سنس یا پیریڈ آف ڈیوریشن کے لیے استعمال ہوتا ہے مثلا سنس مارننگ میں صبح سے آپ کا انتظار کر رہا ہوں I have been waiting for you since morning بچہ دو گھنٹے سے رو رہا ہے The child has been weeping for two hours صبح سے بارش ہو رہی ہے It has been raining since morning یہ 1990 سے اس مکان میں رہ رہے ہیں She have been living in this house since 1990 اس کا بھائی چار دن سے بیمار ہے His brother has been ill for four days لڑکے دوپیر سے پتنگ اڑا رہے ہیں The boys has been flying kites since noon وہ دو سال سے اپنا وقت ضائع کر رہا ہے He has been wasting his time for two years میں کئی سال سے اس جگہ سیر کے لیے آتا رہا ہوں I have been visiting this place for many years کیا کئی روز سے آندھی چل رہی ہے Has it been blowing hard for many days آپ اتنے عرصے کہاں رہے Where have you been so long پہی نمبر 295 Past indefinite tense پہچان اس کے آخر میں علیف یہ چھوٹی یہ یا بڑی یہ بغیرہ آتا ہے امدادی فیل ڈیٹ بنانے کا قائدہ سادہ فکرہ میں فیل کے دوسری فارم لگتی ہے منفی اور سوالیہ کے لیے ڈیٹ لگا کر پہلی فارم لگائی جاتی ہے 
जिस तरह मुझे जुकाम हो गया आई काट कोल्ड मैच बराबर रहा द मैच एंडेड इन द ड्रा खान बीमार पड़ गया खान फेल इल उसका निशाना खता हुआ ही मिस्ड द एम इसके पैर में चोट लगी ही हार्ड हिज फुट मैं गलत गाड़ी में सवार हो गया आई बॉर्डेड द रॉन्ग ट्रेन आमद ने वजीफा हासिल किया आमद वन द स्कॉलरशिप वो बदमाश निकला ही टर्न आउट द बी ऑफ रघु क्या चोर ने मकान की नकब लगाई डेड द थीफ ब्रेक इन द हाउस तुमने उसे कैसे पहचाना हाउ डेड यू रिकगनाइज हिम पास कंटिन्यूस टेंस पहचान आखिर में रहा था रही थी रहे थे आता है इमदादी फेल वाज या वार इस्तेमाल होता है बनाने का कायदा वाज या वार लगा कर पहली फार्म के साथ आई एन जी लगा देते हैं पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी सिक्स उस्ताद आजी लगा रहा था द टीचर वाज कॉलिंग द रोल लड़के शोर मचा रहे थे द बॉय वार मेकिंग अ नॉइस वो गहरी नींद सो रही थी शी वाज स्लीपिंग साउंडली वो दो रिचार्ज चल रहा था ही वाज प्लेइंग द डबल गेम परिंदे चहचा रहे थे द बर्ड वाज चर्पिंग वो अपनी गलती पर पछता रहा था शी वाज रिपिंटिंग ओवर हिज मिस्टेक अगर हम अगर अक्रम अपनी कमी पूरी नहीं कर रहा था अक्रम वाज नॉट मेकिंग अप हिज डिफिशेंसी बावरची खाना नहीं पका रहा था द कुक वाज नॉट कुकिंग फूड क्या वो जार जार रो रही थी वाज ही वीपिंग बैटरली तुम उसको क्यों सता रहे थे वाई वार यू टीजिंग हेम पास परफेक्ट हैं पहचान आखिर में चुका था चुकी थी चुके थे आता है इमदादी फेल हैड इस्तेमाल होता है बनाने का कायदा हैड लगा कर फेल की तीसरी फॉर्म लगाते हैं गाड़ी स्टेशन से जा चुकी थी द ट्रेन हैड लेफ्ट द स्टेशन वो मैं बाल बाल बचा आई हैड अ नैरो स्केप उसने कॉलेज में दाखला ले लिया था शी हैड जॉइन द कॉलेज पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी सेवन तुमने स्वाद में बड़े मज़े किए वी हैड हमने स्वाद में बड़े मज़े किए वी हैड अ गुड टाइम इन स्वाद वो पहले ही चाय पी चुका था ही हैड ऑलरेडी टेकन टी अभी बारिश नहीं हुई थी इट हैड नॉट ट्रेंड येट हमने उसे पहले नहीं देखा था वी हैड नॉट सीन हिम बिफोर डॉक्टर ने आने से पहले मरीज डॉक्टर के आने से पहले मरीज मर चुका था द पेशेंट हैड डाइड बिफोर द डॉक्टर केम क्या मेरे स्कूल पहुंचने से पहले घंटी बज चुकी थी हैड द बेल कान बिफोर आई रीच द स्कूल तुम्हारे आने से पहले वो कहाँ गया था वर एट द गान बिफोर यू केम पास्ट परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूस टेंस पहचान ती रही थी ता रहा था ते रहे थे और वक्त का जिक्र होता है इमदादी फेल हेड बीन वक्त के लिए फार या सेंस लगाते हैं बनाने का कायदा हेड बीन लगा कर पहली फार्म में आई एन जी लगा देते हैं सबसे बारिश हो रही थी इट हैड बीन रेनिंग हम चार साल से वहाँ रह रहे थे We had been living there for फॉर years. Ahmed 1980 से सख्त मेहनत कर रहा था Ahmed had been working hard since 1980. क्या हम सब से वर्जिश कर रहे थे Had we been taking exercise since morning? Page number 298. क्या वो कई रोज से हैजा में मुबतला थी She had she been suffering from कॉलरिया for many days. वो बहुत देर से आपका इंतज़ार नहीं कर रहा था आई हैड नॉट बीन वेटिंग फॉर यू फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम मेरा भाई इस कॉलेज में दो साल से पढ़ रहा था माई माई ब्रदर हैड बीन रीडिंग इन हिज कॉलेज फॉर टू ईयर्स क्या वो छः माह से इम्तहान की तैयारी कर रहा कर रही थी हैड शी बीन प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन फॉर सिक्स मंथ तुम इतने दिन से वहाँ क्या कर रहे थे What had you been doing there for so many days? बेड़ ये आधी रात से जंगल में चला रहे थे इसमें लाहर रही पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी एट जारी है फ्यूचर इन डेफिनेट टेंस पहचान घा घी गे वगैरह फिक्रे के आखिर में आता है इमदादी फेल वेल या शेल इस्तेमाल होता है बनाने का कायदा वेल शेल लगा कर फेल की पहली फार्म लगाते हैं मैं ये खात लिखूँगा आई शेल राइट अ लेटर वह मुसीबत में मेरा साथ देगा वी विल स्टैंड बाई मी इन हार्ड टाइम्स पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड नाइन्टी नाइन 
वो अपनी बहन की मदद करेगी शी विल हेल्प आर सिस्टर तुम गाड़ी से रह जाओगे यू विल मिस द ट्रेन मैं अंग्रेजी का इम्तहान नहीं दूंगा आई शेल नाट टेक अ टेस्ट इन इंग्लिश वो कुत्ते को नहीं मारेगा ई विल नाट बीट द डाग क्या तुम नई गाड़ी खरीदोगे विल यू बाय अ न्यू कार क्या हम कल क्रिकेट मैच खेलेंगे शेल वी प्ले अ क्रिकेट मैच टू मारो तुम उसको गाली क्यों दोगे वाई विल यू कॉल हिम तुम मेरी तरफ कब तो दोगे वेन विल यू पे अटेंशन टू मी फ्यूचर कंटिन्यूस टेंस पहचान फिक्र के आखिर में रहा होगा रहे होंगे रही होगी वगैरह आता है हमदादी फेल वेल भी यह शेल भी इस्तेमाल होता है बनाने का कायदा वेल भी यह शेल भी लगा कर फेल की पहली फार्म के साथ आई एन जी लगाते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल असलम अपने कपड़े धो रहा होगा असलम वेल बी वाश असलम वेल बी वाशिंग इज क्लाथ बारिश हो रही होगी आई विल इट विल बी रेनिंग लड़के शोर मचा रहे होंगे द बॉय विल बी मेकिंग अ नॉइस दरिया में पानी चढ़ रहा होगा द वाटर विल बी राइजिंग इन द रिवर मुझे ये काम करना पड़ता है आई हैव टू डू हिज वर्क उसे सवेरे उठना पड़ता है शी हैड टू गो अप अर्ली उसे मेहनत करनी पड़ती है शी हैज टू वर्क हार्ड नंबर फाइव एम टू आर इज एम आर टू जरूरत मुझे ये काम करना है आई एम टू डू हिज वर्क उसे मेहनत करनी है ही हैज टू वर्क हार्ड तो मैं सवेरे उठना है यू आर टू गेट अप अर्ली यूज ऑफ नाट ओनली बट आल्सो उसमें यह बात याद रखिए कि नाट ओनली के बाद अगर नाउन प्रोनाउन पेज नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फोर और वर्ब इस्तेमाल करें तो बट आल्सो के बाद भी नाउन प्रोनाउन वर्ब होना चाहिए अगर नाट ओनली के फिक्र के शुरू में इस्तेमाल किए जाए तो उसके बाद मददगार फेल हेल्पिंग वर्ब आना जरूरी है उसने ना सिर्फ मुझे मारा बल्कि गालियाँ भी दी ही नाट ओनली बीट मी बट आल्सो अब्यूज मी वो ना सिर्फ अमीर है बल्कि नेक भी है ही इज़ नाट ओनली रिच बट आल्सो गुड वो ना सिर्फ जहन है बल्कि मेहनती भी है नाट ओनली इज ही इंटेलिजेंट बट हार्ड वर्किंग आल्सो नंबर सेवन आल्सो येट आल्सो येट अगरचे ये दो मतदाद बातों को मिलाने के लिए इस्तेमाल होता है आल्सो के बाद येट इस्तेमाल करें या ना करें लेकिन बट इस्तेमाल करना होता है नहीं होता बट इस्तेमाल नहीं होता फॉर एग्जाम्पल हालांकि वो गरीब है मगर सखी है आल तो ही इज़ पुअर येट ही इज जनरियस हालांकि वो अमीर है मगर कंजूस है आल तो ही इज़ रिच येट ही इज माइजरली नंबर एट नो सूनर दैन नो सूनर दैन जो ही दो कामों का एक ही वक्त पर होना जाहिर करता है सूनर दूसरी डिग्री है सून की इसके लिए इसके बाद दैन का इस्तेमाल नागजीर है अगर नो सूनर को फिक्र के शुरू में इस्तेमाल किया जाए तो इसके बाद मददगार पर हेल्पिंग वार्ब का आना ज़रूरी है फॉर एग्जाम्पल जो ही हम स्टेशन पर पहुँचे गाड़ी चल दी नो सूनर डाइड और रिच द स्टेशन दैन द ट्रेन स्टार्टड और वी आर सूनर रीच द स्टेशन दैन द ट्रेन स्टार्टड पेज नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फाइव जो ही वो यहाँ आता है उसकी मदद करता हूँ नो सूनर डज ही रीच एयर दैन आई हेल्प हिम और ही नो सोनर रीच एयर दैन आई हेल्प हिम एज सून हैज जो दो कामों का एक ही वक्त में होना जाहिर करता है अगर बात पर ज़्यादा जोर दिया जाए तो नो सोनर इस्तेमाल होता है और अगर कम जोर दिया जाए तो एज सून हैज इस्तेमाल होता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल जो ही हम स्टेशन पर पहुँचे गाड़ी चल दी एज सून एज वी रीच द स्टेशन द ट्रेन स्टार्टड जो ही वो यहाँ आता है तो मैं उसकी मदद करता हूँ एज सून हैज कम एयर आई हेल्प हिम नंबर टेन शुड आउट मस्ट शुड किसी काम को मुनासब होना डिस्क्राइबिलिटी मुनासब है कि आप वहाँ जाएँ यू शुड गो देयर मुनासब है कि आप ये काम करें यू शुड डू दिस आउट अखलाकी फ़र्ज होना मॉरल ड्यूटी माँ बाप का हुक्म मानना आपका अखलाकी फ़र्ज है यू आउट टू ओबे यूर पेरेंट्स दूसरों की मदद करना आपका अखलाकी फ़र्ज है यू आउट टू हेल्प अदर्स मस्ट लाजम होना कंपल्शन सर्टेनिटी लाजम है कि वो ये सामान उठाए यू मस्ट कैरी द लगेज उसने सवाल जरूर निकाल लिए होंगे यू मस्ट हैव सॉल्व द सम्स पेज नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स यूनिट 
انٹل اور انلیس انٹل جب تک نا وقت کو ظاہر کرتا ہے جب تک تم اسے نہ کہو گے یہ کام نہیں کرے گا ہی ویل ناٹ ڈو اٹ انٹل یو آسک ہم انلیس جب تک نہ حالات یا شرط ظاہر کرتا ہے جب تک وہ جب تک وہ نہ مانے گا انلیس ہی ایگریس میں اس کو نہ چھوڑوں گا آئی شیل ناٹ ہیو ہم پارٹیسپل اینڈ کی رائنڈ سگریٹ نوشی اچھی عادت نہیں اسموکنگ از ناٹ اے گڈ ہیبٹ سیر صحت کے لیے اچھی ہے واکنگ از گڈ فار ہیلتھ پارٹیسپل بہتا ہوا پانی پینے کے قابل ہوتا ہے رننگ واٹر از گڈ ٹو ڈرنک اونہار پروا کے چکنے چکنے پات کمنگ ایونٹس کاسٹ دیئر شیڈوز نوٹ پہلے دو فکروں میں گرنڈ اور آخری دو فکروں میں پارٹیسپل استعمال ہوا ہے یوز آف لیٹ آؤ سیر کو چلیں لیٹ اس کو فار آف واک ہمیں چائے پینے دیں لیٹ اس ٹیک ٹی آؤ مزے کریں لیٹ اس میک میری مجھے جانے دو لیٹ می گو یوز آف یوز ٹو وہ جھوٹ بولا کرتا ہے ہی یوز ٹو ٹیل الائی ہم غریبوں کی مدد کیا کرتے تھے وی یوز ٹو ہیلپ دا پور میں سگریٹ پیا کرتا تھا آئی یوز ٹو سموک پیج نمبر تھری ہنڈریڈ اینڈ سیون یوز آف ٹو وہ اتنا کمزور ہے کہ چل نہیں سکتا ہی از ٹو ویک ٹو واک وہ اتنا غریب ہے کہ پھل نہیں خرید سکتا ہی از ٹو پور ٹو بائی فروٹ بات اسلم ایماندار بھی ہے اور محنتی بھی اسلم از بات آنیسٹ طائر امیر بھی ہے اور سخی بھی طائر از بات رچ اینڈ جینریس ایز ویل ہیز اسلم ایماندار بھی ہے اور محنتی بھی اسلم از آنیسٹ ایز ویل ہیز ہارڈ ورکنگ طائر امیر بھی ہے اور سخی بھی طائر از رچ ایز ویل ہیز جینریس 